The Rebecca School opened to students in September of 2006 and we are a school that work with students with neurodevelopmental delays in relating and communicating, which include children diagnosed on the autistic spectrum, but also children not diagnosed on the spectrum. Hi, I'm Tina McCourt. I'm the program director at the Rebecca School. We really see the children as children first, and we look at their diagnosis second. We really want to be able to respect the children, respect their thoughts, respect their communication, and give them an ability to communicate that to us in any way that they can. The other thing that we do differently is we have a lot of family support here. We all have individual differences in the way that we process things and the way we put together motor plans, and so our kids do too, and we pay attention to that. I would like to be the shortstop for the Yankees, but I'm not quite as facile at moving to my left, scooping the ball up without looking at it, turning and making a throw. My processing is different. Hi, I'm Gil Tippy. I'm the clinical director of the Rebecca School. I'm one of the founders, and I'm a clinical psychologist. TIR is a developmental, individual difference relationship-based model, so we believe that kids first do this, then they do that, then they do this, and we have to pay attention to that. This is, after all, a developmental disorder, so we want to treat it developmentally. We really, you know, show kids and teach kids that who they are and what they like is something that's important to us as well. So instead of really working to get kids away from the things that they love, we really use those as um, components and aspects of our reading program, our math program, our movement and OT activity. We see children individually, we see them in dyads with their peers, in groups, and we take them down to the sensory gym and provide them with the sensory input that they need to help them attend and focus in the classroom and throughout the day in a variety of environments. We work closely with the classrooms and we collaborate with the other related service providers as well as the teachers to implement what we do in our individual and group sessions for them to learn and to teach them how to use those strategies and interventions throughout the day so that the child can be regulated and participate in their classroom activities as well. So a typical day at Rebecca School for a speech therapist involves pull-out sessions, um, individual sessions, group therapy sessions that could be in the community or in the classroom. We really stress having the kids work together. Um, we stress building peer relationships and focusing on building the school and classroom community. When a child is motivated and engaged, they're going to be more eager to communicate when you're using the child's interests and passions in order to foster communications. Music therapy is an incredible resource to Rebecca School. Using sound, using instruments is a way in. When a student comes into the room and they go to the drum set and begin playing, we create music right along with them and suddenly their world opens up and their world becomes a world where they're letting somebody else into it. You know, music has this really innate way of allowing us to get into this back and forth and that's one of the big goals of DIR is, you know, I have something to say and you have something to say and then I have something else to say and you have something else to say and music can do that in so many different ways. These are children first, they're kids. They have wonderful ideas and beautiful personalities and it's our job to harness and take everything that they offer to us. I think that anyone that walks through this building can see these children are all making gains while they're here at Rebecca School.